Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Uh, you watching the bread? Chess of the bread, yeah. Get a subscriber tell. Chess of the bread. Chess of the bread. Turn around. If you're not already subscribed, I'll give you a second to subscribe. Go ahead. No, it's okay, I'm patient. Okay, that was more than enough time. Today, I'm about to go get my nail soaked off at the nail salon. And then I have a nail appointment really late tonight. Around 10 something is my nail appointment. So I have time. So I'm going to go get these soaked off. And then we're going to probably get some e-ramen because I've been craving that. So we need to get a move on. I'm just going to throw something on. I'm going to be looking a mess probably up until the end of this video. So I just got these little leopard print Uggs. I haven't worn these in a minute. And then I just got these leggings on and this gray crew neck. It's cold outside, so this might keep my head warm. This is what they look like before like a fucking hot mess i don't know if i'm gonna be able to record in there i probably will but if not this is the before oh my you're beautiful
Hey y'all, so it's the next day. These are my nails. I don't know if y'all are gonna be able to see like the design that well, but basically it is my anniversary day and the letter J for Jordan. Cute shit, right? That's my bitch. I love Mo. So if you're watching this Mo, we gang for real. Y'all need to go book with her. I'm gonna pop her nail page up on the screen. Nowadays, I'm very hesitant to make new friends. If y'all watch my story times, y'all know I don't have a very good experience with letting people in and, and making new friends. But Mo has been such a breath of fresh air, such good energy. I don't have to worry about her. No toxic, nothing. So yeah, um, definitely book with her if you want her to slay your nails. These are super cute, exactly what I asked for. Actually, they're cuter than what I asked for because the picture that I showed her, she bodied it. She bodied it. What I'm about to do right now is I'm about to run to Target because I need a new tripod for my, com uh, not my computer, what the fuck. I need a new tripod for my camera because I have, I had that little bendy tripod. You know that tripod that everybody and their mama got, the one that's white. It's like black and white and it like bends and shit. I have that. But I need a new one because that one is not gonna cut it. Number one, I don't know where that shit is because I never really used it. Two, it's just not giving what it's supposed to. Like, it, I need a sturdy motherfucker. Like, I need a straight, like, one that I can hold. So I'm not to, I'm not at Starbucks yet, but I just wanted to um, talk about something because for some reason, every time that I think about Starbucks, I think about Barnes & Noble because when I was a kid, y'all, like, not even a kid. When I was a kid to a teenager, I used to love going to Barnes and Nobles with my grandma, like with my nana and with my mama. 
that would be like something I wanted to do on the weekend type shit. Like I was a nerd. I'm not even saying that in like a bad way. Like I'm grown as fuck. There's nothing wrong with wanting to read. That doesn't even make you a nerd for real. So nobody take that offensively. So like my brother would want to go like, you know, I don't know. He wanted you he used to like to go hooping on the um weekend, like go out his friends and stuff. My ass used to like to go to Barnes and Noble with my fucking nana. Like we used to go to Barnes and Noble and I don't know if y'all have ever been in a Barnes and Noble, but they have usually a starbucks in a barnes and noble or even in a books a million they have i don't know because books a million is like off-brand barnes and nobles they have like off-brand starbucks in there they have like a coffee shop but it's not starbucks i want to go like in my next vlog because this is a maintenance vlog i don't want to do that in this vlog i'm going to go to barnes and noble and i'm going to get me some books because i used to i used to be a bookworm like like my brother used to literally call me a bookworm anyways our nana used to give us a, or let us choose a book from like barnes and noble and do an at-home book log just to like continue you reading and shit my brother hated reading so I would literally read my book and his and I would do his book log for him like on some nerd shit like my older brother y'all literally that dude could get me to do anything for him and I would fucking do it like I used to want to impress my brother so bad and I like to read so like I didn't have no problem with that can I get a grande iced chai tea latte with um two splendas in it and pumpkin cold foam on top so unfortunately we don't have the pumpkin cold foam anymore. Okay, can I just get the regular sweet cream cold foam? Alrighty, your total is 642, thank you. Thank you. They don't have pumpkin cold foam. Isn't all they do is put fucking, I'm gonna ask them to put some cinnamon on it. Cause, bitch. I'm good, thank you. I'm good, how are you? Can I get some cinnamon on top of mine? Yeah, thank you. Thank you. You too. Ooh wee. Y'all, this drink never fails me. Oh my God! This drink is so good. If y'all ever see me just yelling and shit, just know that's me, okay? This is real, this is me. I'm Ooh. exactly who I'm supposed to be. I try to dilute, 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 dilute dilute <sighs> whatever i try to water myself down sometimes because you know like just being like a person of color we already sometimes feel like we have to water ourselves down to kind of like not seem ghetto or not seem whatever the fuck you know what i'm saying like i've been portrayed to be angry black woman to be loud and obnoxious long nails ghetto but like bitch who said that I had a problem with being ghetto sometimes like that? Like, bitch, what the fuck? I am not going to water myself down for nobody anymore, ever. Because I've already been so adamant about not watering myself down for, like, you know, white people. And so why would I water myself down for my subscribers? Like, clearly y'all love me. If you watch my vlogs especially, you fuck with the kid. Like, you fuck with me. So I fuck with y'all. And I'm gonna, you know, show y'all my truest, authentic self i really hope that doesn't offend anybody but like picky eaters get on my nerves like people that are always just eating chicken fingers eat nothing but chicken fingers and fries like where's the diversity where's the like expand your palate you know what i'm saying what are you an idiot sandwich see like this is a tripod i just need to make sure it's compatible with my camera this is where Google comes in handy. I did find this. It's forty dollars for this one, but I I don't think they're compatible with anything except them little Hero GoPros. So I think I'm gonna have to go with this one because I can already see that that's the little like port thingy that I need. So. I think I'm gonna go with this one. I make my chai tea latte at home, even though I just bought one at Starbucks. So I'm uh -huh. getting, I'm gonna try to get this decaf one because I'm not supposed to have caffeine for real. And the one I bought is the regular, which has hella caffeine. Like the caffeine level is like all these dots. So definitely not, I'm not trying to die over some chai tea. And then I need to get some whole milk because I tried that shit with almond milk and it was disgusting. So we're gonna have to go back to regular milk just for this because this is what I make in the morning which I'm gonna show y'all my winter routine. I'm gonna get this blanket which means I'm gonna have to get pillows to match it which is so extra 
but they shouldn't have put this cute ass blanket in my face if they didn't want me to get it. I want accent pillows, like two gray pillows to go on my bed to kind of match. I have white sheets and I want like a throw and two accent pillows, but there's no knitted or really two gray pillows that will go with the blanket. So if I can't get two pillows to go with the blanket, I'm not gonna get the blanket. Psych! Don't fucking play. I don't know which ones to get because I changed, like I got the quilted blanket that I showed y'all in Target. I ended up getting it, but I got the lighter one. It's not like gray anymore, like dark gray. So these big ones are kind of nice. These two pillows were $30. It would have, it's $30 for just one pillow at Target. I paid $15 for these fucking big ass pillows. I should have never went to Target for that in the first place. So I put it on the bed. This is how like the knitted um, blanket looks. Don't mind the dogs in the background. And these are the two giant pillows that I got. I feel like it looks so much better. Like it just brings the room together more. I'm gonna um, put the camera down for a little bit and chill because I'm hot. I don't know why I'm so hot, probably from all that moving around. We just threw the Christmas tree out because it's not Christmas anymore and I was tired of seeing it. The next day. Hey y'all, so I am now at my lash appointment. I'm going to a new girl this time, which I am excited to because she does really, really good. My girl Mo, who does my nails, she put me on to this girl and she said she's really cool, really nice, and she does bomb. Like y'all, when I tell y'all she does bomb, she does bomb. These have been cried on and all types of junk pulled and you know y'all know the drill I've been pulling crying and all that so this is it before so just stay tuned for the after baby because it's about to be a big difference
down the head and toe. I sit to the head and flow. I already fed the pole. You niggas too scared to go. Hey. I know this is not the best lighting, but she ate that. Hold on. She ate that. This is what I've wanted. I've wanted like long, long lashes, bitch, because big blinks motherfucking only. Like, it's like a big difference. So it's like, whoo. But this is what I fucking like, bitch. This is what the fuck I like to look like. This is what the fuck I like. This is what I like. It's giving. It is currently 8:10 and i'm about to go inside and see my boyfriend because i haven't seen him all day we're gonna get some food and i'll catch up with y'all all right you guys so i look um disgustingly crazy and my hair is definitely not giving i'm going to get in the shower and do it i'm about to make me a chai tea latte tastes like the chai tea latte from Starbucks minus the cold foam. So I think what I'm gonna do is make me an arepa. First things first, my arepa maker is beat up. Like literally, it was a hand-me-down from my grandma. Um, and it was a hand-me-down from her mom. So my great-grandmother, who is now an angel, passed this down, like literally generations. So this thing has been through the mud, and this Ooh. is her. This is Dorinda. That is the name of my arepa maker. She gets new names like probably every couple years. But Dorinda is, she's really like holding on. You know what I mean? Like, look. Period. The way I was taught was to make it with olive oil and salt. I really need this to knead the dough. So I'm going to wash that real quick. I probably am gonna wash all these dishes real quick and then I'm going to start the process. So just cue the montage. Y'all already know how this go. Song in my head and I don't like it. Like, TikTok really got that funky Aaliyah song that, um, AJ number the number song in like, y'all know already. Y'all gotta tell y'all why that's a funky song, but I don't know. I like how they're trying to make that a trend on TikTok. Like, y'all are wildin'. Like, I feel like that's OD. I don't know. About this much water, which is about two cups of water, half a tablespoon of salt, and you need like a tablespoon of vegetable oil. So just like there was two cups of water, you're gonna need two cups of the harina pan. You're gonna like slowly pour it in there. You're not gonna just pour it both, like pour it all in there, you know what I mean? And this really sucks when you have long nails like this because the dough gets all in my fingernails. But I washed that out obviously after. I'm just mixing that in there so that there's no big knots or whatever. As you guys can see, I know this is probably not the best angle because I'm using one hand to knead this that's about how it should look and like 
I'm gonna let it sit for a second and then I'm gonna show you guys what to do next. Literally guys, it's so good. You can put anything in it. Like there's an arepa place here in Atlanta called Arepa Mia. Well, it's not in Atlanta. It's far as fuck from Atlanta, but there's one in Georgia and they have like meat in it, like shredded beef and avocado. Like they have ones that have all type of stuff in it. But when I make it, I just put it like a sandwich, like ham and cheese and stuff like that. Place it on the eye and then you just close this. And y'all hear that? Let it cook for like, I check it after about like 10 minutes to see what it's looking like and you kind of just eyeball it once it's like golden brown crispy texture or whatever it's ready and then you just put whatever in there and boom 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 I'm gonna just show you guys it when it's done so just to check up on it this is what it's looking like I really just test it by how the sides look when the sides look real crispy I know that it's done so this is about when I would take it out or whatever that thing is nice and toasty. My deli meat is expired by a few days, so I'm not even going to try to do that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make an egg. I'm gonna hurry up and make that and then show y'all. All right, y'all. So it might not look very appetizing because I rushed it, but. Mmm. I'll catch up with y'all later. Chase it a